Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on Tumblrs, but I do other things, especially around the holiday seasons. And it is December and we are all in full holiday mode and making stuff around our house and gifts and things like that. So I decided that I was gonna, I've been doing a lot of like little shorts, you know, sprucing up things or simple things, recycling a hand soap dispenser and then using a Dollar Tree bar soap holder to make a cute decoration for the bathroom. Well, actually not decoration, it's a fully functioning hand soap dispenser. So if you're interested to see what I came up with, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <music> I picked up this clear soap dish from the Dollar Tree and so the first thing you're going to do is remove that sticker which thankfully that one came off nice and easy and then you're going to wipe it down with 91% alcohol make sure there's no grease or anything or dust or dirt from your fingers and I am actually going to pour resin on the back side of it so I mixed up 40 mls of epoxy and I put in this glitter I think that's the winter wonderland and I am just going to mix it up. I don't want a, like I don't want it to be really super dense. So I don't put so much in that it makes it that you can't see through it. Like I want you to be able to like see all the different colors and flakes in there because there are some snowflakes and then there's different colors. So I didn't want it to be I wanted you to be able to see through it. I don't know. Is it opaque, transparent? I always confuse the words. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so I think you understand what I'm saying. And then I pick out some snowflakes from the bag and just place them around there because I do want you to see the snowflakes because they kind of get buried and I just wanted to bring some to the surface. So I just grabbed a few and sprinkled them around and then I took a stick and just adjusted them, made sure that they were spaced out real nice. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna set that aside to cure. And now I'm gonna use the insert of a, a tumbler turner foam, and I'm gonna mount, it's the perfect size for these recycled bottles. And so you see, I put it on there. Uh, I start, The green one was a Bath and Body Works one, or is a Bath and Body Works. This one is Method. So it is Method soap. You can pick it up pretty much anywhere. So I spray painted it white, I sanded it down, I spray painted it white, and then I used Mod Podge to apply my glitter. You can apply your glitter any way you want. I did do two coats of glitter and I used the color called Diamond Dust. It is this absolutely gorgeous white and I coated the entire thing. So uh, I used on the green, on the green Bath and Body Works, I actually did that one in red and I don't show you doing that because I only need to show you how to do one. And then once I got this coated, I let it dry, Mod Podged over it again, and then put my second coat of Diamond Dust on there. Got it on my turner and put a coat of epoxy on, which I did not show you. Oh, I'm sorry, I sealed it with Gloss Clear before I put it on the turner to apply a coat of epoxy. So I did tape up the top, so now I'm just showing you after I applied the epoxy, sorry I didn't tape that, that I'm just taking that off. You wanna take that tape off right away. You wanna protect that neck, and then you wanna take that tape off. And so I did two coats of epoxy on this. Now I'm gonna apply these snowflakes. I picked these up last year on Amazon. And I had quite, I still have a few sheets left and I absolutely really, really love these snowflakes. They're different colors. They're super pretty. They've got the gem in the center. So it worked out perfect for my winter theme because I do want to keep this up for the winter. And so once I was done applying those, I am going to put one coat of epoxy. I really didn't need to put two coats on. I just wanted to seal these on. And it actually, I put a nice thick coat on and I think I used about 20 mLs of epoxy so that it that wasn't bumpy or anything. I don't really need it. So really, it's just like doing a tumbler. You're going to sand, paint, glitter, epoxy, decorate, epoxy, and then that is it. So don't forget to torch for any bubbles and make sure you remove that tape right away so it doesn't get epoxy to the soap dispenser. Once it's cured, you're ready to fill it with soap and put it in your favorite bathroom. So that is it, guys. I'm going to be back with my final remarks. 
All right, guys, this is done. I'm so happy with the way this came out. So, you know, Dollar Tree has these clear plastic dishes and I think they have them in other colors too. And so just fill it with resin and glitter and it's like so pretty. So, the, you know, if you want to put bar soap in this, I did it on the flip side. So there's still this well and you can still see it, like how pretty that is. You could put bar soap in here too if you want. So, you know, it's kind of a dual functioning. And so I'm going to put my soap dispenser in here because I don't know about you guys, but I find that, you know, soap oftentimes gets on the counter below. And so this would be a really good catch for it. And here is the recycle method bottle that I picked up at Five Below, but you can buy these pretty much anywhere. I used up all the soap. And so now I made this really pretty, pretty, pretty wintry type soap dispenser. And this takes the hand foaming soap. It's the hand foaming soap, yes. So you can pick up a big bottle of that at your grocery store or I usually order it from Amazon. It's so much easier to find, plus a, you know, easier to pick scents and stuff. So that is it guys. Thank you all for watching. Oh, you know what? I have one more that I did. This is Bath and Body Works shape bottle. So I took and did the same thing. I repurposed this and I'm gonna put this in my kitchen. And if you wanna make, we'll put on here or you can use a coaster mold to make like a coaster to put underneath it. It's totally up to you. You don't have to put anything. I'm going to put something under this. I think I'm going to make a matching coaster for this one. So that is it guys. Check out your Dollar Tree. There's so many like cool things that you can pick up and just glitter and make super pretty for the holidays. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback. All that stuff helps my channel to grow, which I'm slowly climbing to 5,000. I'm excited. I'm getting closer. All right. And don't forget to check out my Facebook group, It's a Craft Thing, as well as my Instagram, It's a Craft Thing, for things that I do that I don't post tutorials on, as well as Glitter Makes It Superstars group. They have fun giveaways every Sunday. All right, I will see you all next time. Bye.